The 2018 Detroit Auto Show could nearly be renamed the Detroit Truck Show for all the huge uncovers on the floor. We don't have all the 2019 Ram 1500 and the 2019 Chevy Silverado details, yet we can think about them as far as weight, motors, transmissions, and rough terrain adaptations. We can likewise look at what we think about those trucks to the current 2018 Ford F-150. Stay tuned for a more top-to-bottom correlation of insights as more data winds up noticeably accessible. Both Ram 1500 and Chevy Silverado have started eating less for the new model year, like the one the F-150 went ahead in 2015. The Silverado is the weight reduction pioneer, having shed 450 pounds contrasting quad taxi V8 models. The Ram 1500 lost 225 pounds contrasted with the present truck. The two trucks accomplish their weight reduction to a limited extent because of the utilization of aluminium parts. On the Silverado, the hood, entryways, and back end are aluminium, while on the Ram, only the hood and rear end are aluminium on the body. Contrast that with the F-150, which utilizes aluminium for all outside body boards for an aggregate weight reduction of up to 732 pounds, which makes the aluminum concentrated F-150 the weight reduction pioneer. There's just a touch of cover in power trains on the Ram 1500 and Chevy Silverado. Every ha a V8 for the best motor. The Rams is a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 making 395 pull and 410 pound feet of torque. The Silverado will by and by utilize a 6.2 liter V8. Despite the fact that Chevy hasn't uncovered specs on the motor, we envision it will be near the present models 420 strength and 460 pound feet of torque. While the Chevy makes more power and torque, the Rams V8 brags a discretionary 48 volt mellow half breed framework that can give up to 130 pound feet of torque ideal off the line. While the F150 still offers a 5.0 litre V8, the genuine range topping motor is a 3.5 litre twin turbocharged V6. That motor makes 375 pull and finish the three trucks with 470 pound feet of torque. The Ram and Chevy power trains wander with the lower end gas motors smash offers a 3.6 liter v6 making 305 strength and 269 pound feet of torque and it comes standard with the 48 volt half and half framework However in that application it just delivers up to 90 pound feet. Chevy has not reported a gas V6 for the new Silverado yet, which means the low end gas motor for it is a 5.3 litre V8. Yield hasn't been given, however the 5.3 litre motor in the present model produces 355 pull and 383 pound feet of torque and we don't anticipate that that will change much. Underneath the F-150's 3.5 litre rests the 2.7 litre EcoBoost V6. That motor makes 325 drive and 400 pound feet of torque. Diesels are somewhat of a puzzle for these two trucks. Chevrolet declared it would offer a 3.0 litre inline 6 diesel, and gave no points of interest other than it will outflank the opposition. Portage's Power Stroke 3.0 litre makes 250 strength and 440 pound feet of torque. So anticipate that the Chevy motor will be in that ballpack. Smash says that the Ego Diesel 3.0 litre V6 will return, however no points of interest were given. The present model makes 240 pull and 420 pound feet of torque, so the new form will most likely be close. Portage simply reported the F-150 will get that 3.0 litre V6 turbo diesel. At long last, all Rams will utilize 8-speed automatics, with an alternate one for V6 than for V8. The Silverado will get a 10-speed programmed with the 6.2 litre V8 and the diesel. In spite of the fact that no transmission was reported for the 5.3 litre V8, the present model uses an 8-speed programmed, 
so we would expect the same for the better and brighter one, like the Silverado, the F-150 utilizations are 10 speed programmed, indeed, the transmissions are almost the same, because of an improvement organization amongst GM and Ford. For the 2019 model year, Chevrolet has made an intense rough terrain variation to coordinate the Ram Rebel. It's known as the Trail Boss. It goes a stage past the General Z71 rough terrain bundle, however incorporates that bundle's highlights. It accompanies a locking back differential slip plates, rancho stuns, a 2-inch lift, and go romping tires. What's more, obviously, the trail boss looks more forceful with a dark front belt. The Ram 1500 Rebel precedes for 2019. As opposed to the Chevy trail boss, the Rebel just gets a 1-inch suspension lift. Be that as it may, similar to the trail boss, it has a locking back differential slip plates and go dead road romping tires. The Rebel additionally gains slope drop power and overhauled stuns, yet from Bill Stein rather than Rancho. The Rebel can accompany air suspension, as well. Also, the Rebel will keep on getting a novel dark grill and intense Rebel badging. Between the two, it's likely up to your inclination of style and brand. All things considered, neither of those truly stack up against the Ford F-150 Raptor, the lord of full measure rough train drivers. The Raptor is fueled by a high yield form of the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, useful for 450 strength and 510 pound feet of torque. Notwithstanding the knock in control. The Raptor gets burly tires and wheels, fox stuns, wide bumpers and that's only the tip of the iceberg.